Hello student. This world having a great number of living and non-living organism and this living organism having the great diversity and variation. But due to this variation in plants and organism, we face a great problem to recognize them or to identify them. For that, scientists give us a system that is systematics or taxonomy. But by arranging them in their taxonomy, we have to identify by their naming, right? Because every organism living on earth planet by identified by their names. But these animals can be have different name. Similar animals can be have different name in different region of world. And due to this naming pattern, we get confused to identify them by their naming pattern. So that scientists give a proper scientific way to identify them by their name that is nomenclature, zoological nomenclature. So in this lecture, we're talking about the zoological nomenclature and how it give the proper name or scientific name to organism. So basically, zoological nomenclature is system of scientific name applied to the taxonomic unit of animal known to occur in nature whether they are living or extinct. So basically, it is a system of scientific name. This system which give the scientific name to the animal. It may be living or extinct. We know that every organism which we know having the proper scientific name so that they may be living or extinct but they having their proper scientific name and by this use by using this scientific name we can recognize them universally so in other words we can say that the nomenclature is a system of naming of plants animals or object and this scientific name are language of taxonomist when a taxonomist identify and describe the natural group of animals, he will give appropriate scientific name to group. Because the common name do not serve this purpose to identify them. Because each animal, same animal, having the different name in different region of world. Basically, the term nomenclature comes from Latin word. Nomen means name and culture means to call. It's simply meaning that is called by the name. So organism, we give scientific name to organism and to identify them by their scientific name. So basically there are three important requisites in taxonomy. So three important requisites should keep in mind before giving any name to taxa. First one that is uniqueness, universality and stability. Uniqueness means the name should be unique. And this unique name is given to a particular organism by which we can identify them. Secondly, universality. So name should be named all world over the world. So universality means the name which given to the organism which is can be used all over the world. And it and does not showing the differences in naming pattern in re different region. So this give the universality. So when where we going, so this organism or whatever the organism we see, so which having the proper name by their identification key. And this is universal. So whenever we identify the organism, we are having the same name as scientific name. Sec and last one that is stability so name should not be changed so whatever name is given to organism is not changed by place to place or region to region which having the stability in their name so for example common name do not serve the purpose because the particular animal is known by different name in different part of world and due to this the local names cannot useful for the identification of organism for example the bird that we known as goraya in india or pakistan is known by different name in other countries for example house sparrow in england paddle in spain mosach in holland and sujen in japan and so on so moreover the common name may be used for different kind of animal for example the name 
quinchua is used for the earthworm and ascaris so similar name can be used for the different animal also so on other hand a scientific name is universally used for the particular species or particular group of animal for example goraya or house sparrow is term passer domesticus by zoologists throughout the world so this scientific name give a proper way to identify the organism by their scientific name so let's talk about the international code of zoological nomenclature so international code of zoological nomenclature set a rule for naming of animals and for resolution of nomenclature problem is called as international code of zoological nomenclature after 18th century all author adopt a linear system so basically the linear system give the binomial nomenclature for the identification of organism by their name so they change the existing name if they had not been correctly formed so during formation of their name the existing name which is not scientific or correct they change by their using the scientific name and result in nomenclatural confusion so uh, they need a definite rule or course to arose and the first set of rule were presented in first international congress of zoology in 1886 so in late 1830 century zoologists felt a need for standardization of name given to animals and at the first international zoological congress held at paris moscow zoologists from around the world established and accepted standard international rules which replaced by the conventional and unwritten rules so later in 1905 international rules on zoological nomenclature were published in french german and english and these rules underwent subsequent transformation at various zoological congress so in 1986 sorry 1961 these rules were successively replaced by the first edition of international code of zoological nomenclature that is iczn so this written in french and english so currently the fourth edition of the codes is in place and these codes are elaborated by the international commission of zoological nomenclature that is iczn commission and this iczn commission is powered by the international union of biological science that is iobs and these rules specified in the code for applicable to all zoological name to the given organism so this zoological nomenclature society give the proper scientific name to organism which is universally accepted so whenever we find the organism which having the similar name in all over the world because it is a scientific name which is given by the scientist or zoologist so basically the book which having this uh, scientific name or for identification of the organism having the code consist of the three main part so first one that is code proper appendix and glossary where appendix is a section giving extra information in the end of books where glossary is a list of technical and special word especially those in particular text explaining their meaning so sometime we cannot find the proper meaning of the word which is given in a text so that we use the glossary which is a list of technical and special word so we can easily find their meaning and so that we can betterly understand the what actually term they want to say that okay so the code proper is a preamble that is introduction to book or written document so <coughs> the uh, this is the introduction to a book or written document uh, so whatever the information is given in a book which is a, which is filled in the first page so it is useful to know that the what actually the written in the in this book and which are useful with the what kind of actually it useful for the identification so basically it contain the 19 article groups in 18 chapters and each article composed of the one or more mandatory provision which is followed by the recommendation and illustrative example so basically these articles are composed of the more one or more mandatory provision 
which is followed by the recommendation and illustrative example so each organism having the variation and having the some similarity also so from kingdom to species we identify the organism and place them so basically genera and species can be different but other that is kingdom phylum class order family they are similar in particular organism so we can easily identify the organism from which belong the class they belong so these are useful recommendation as not mandatory so i hope you understand the what is mean by the zoological nomenclature and how it used to identify the organism by their scientific name so basically this uh, nomenclature is used to naming the organism that is plants and animals and which is useful because the local name is not appropriate for the identification of organism so that the scientists give this proper way to identify the organism by their scientific name i hope you understand this concept regarding the zoological nomenclature in next lecture we talking about the principle which is useful for the which is provide the best provision to for uh, zoological nomenclature that is for today thank you